So this will probably be the start of part two. I'm going to get started with the jewelry. Um, I got all of these charms. Uh, you can see they're all a dollar. And these are all little silver charms. So I've got a music note, a sandal, um, that's Bermuda. We've got an airplane. We've got, let's see, looks like a building. Uh, this one's Nassau, Idaho. Um, this one's a cactus. Empire State Building, New York. Uh, this one's Merry Christmas. And for 50 cents, pump iron. That's 14 karat gold. And I also got a few ceramic beads, a necklace and earring. For 25 cents a piece, I got these three sterling serving pieces. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Gorum. That's how you're supposed to say it. Um, so a serving spoon, it looks like a pie slice, and a spatula, all with sterling handles. Pretty good pickup there, brand new. Pretty sure you had to special order these pieces, so they're going to be a little bit more expensive, and I can sell them um, either together or individually. It probably won't matter, but I'll, I'll get a good price for those. So I got some more Gorum pieces. Um, I always seem to find these ornaments. Um, these are like Christmas ornaments, but they're sterling silver. Um, this one is, at least. And uh, just was sitting with the Christmas ornaments like anything else, and they were only a dollar a piece. Um, this one is marked sterling. So this one's actually silver. And for some reason, there also is a... 30 inch silver chain on it um, that costs $60. So, got that one. Um, this one turned out it is silver plated. So, you can see the difference. I would try and show you guys the difference in the color. Maybe you can see that on my camera. Way different, right? Silver plated, real silver. And this one has another silver chain on it. So silver plated, silver chain, also a dollar. So there's that and two spoons, uh, silver spoons, both marked right there. Here's some more things I picked up. This stuff's mostly just costume. You can see a dollar, uh, usually a piece. Uh, this one had a little uh, bit of jade right there. Some costume pearls. Um, this is all like just handmade, hand uh, tied stuff. Um, maybe some turquoise and coral. Um, this kind of cool looking one. Stone claws. Um, a Trafari, this is Trafari, this big gold thing. Um, another nice stone necklace. Oh, and this. Uh, green turquoise and silver. It's actually a pretty nice necklace. Um, these, 925. Not gold, but silver. Still nice. And gold filled. Uh, bangle and this like kind of rock crystal-y bracelet with silver so uh, there's some of the uh, costume jewelry don't really have much time to go through it all but there's that here's some more jewelry uh, this is nice silver hair clip uh, it's marked 925 it's from like Taxco and another pair of sterling clip earrings. These are also marked. Let me see if I can get it open. Very clearly. Um, I paid a dollar for that and five dollars for those. Um, this was a dollar. I think it's gold filled. 
um, just antique little brooch pretty nice um, this is another handmade necklace deal with a stone 925 wing with CZs uh, that's marked on the back also you can see the holes again through the back means it's better quality mark 925 on the clasp I paid three dollars for that probably um, and I bought these cuff links these were five dollars these are marked uh, 835 on the side there and a little Viking ship so these are Scandinavian uh, Denmark Norway cufflinks with mother of pearl uh, these bring about 25 30 bucks nothing crazy but still a nice pair of cufflinks I got these two pieces uh, they look like jade I'm not too sure but this looks like jade little circle on a red cord and then this bangle uh, I was told was jade but I'm not sure if it is this might be like an agate stone um, but it could be jade it sounds like it at least it's very clicky very high uh, sound to it very pingy and it's cold you know it's cold to the touch so I don't know if that's jade or if that's another kind of stone but either way I paid five bucks for that five bucks for that um, I don't think I'll go wrong there Got these kind of totem pole earrings, very nice, sterling, one dollar. Um, let's see, I got this pretty early in the morning for a dollar. This was one of my favorites. This really cool, you know, moon, stars, sun. And it's sterling silver, it's marked 925. Big, heavy, about 35 grams. Bracelet with some stones. I got this really big silver necklace with the heart clasp. It's about 75 grams. And it's for sure silver. Um, it's marked it's marked on the inside right there and then it's also marked on one of these links Let's see if I can find it yeah right on this one it's also marked 925 right there 75 grams I've seen these sell um, for anywhere 75 100 bucks so really nice big silver necklace all right some more stuff I'm totally running out of sunlight here um, gold filled bunch of gold filled stuff gold filled tie clasp um, gold filled cufflinks monograms um, some more gold filled cufflinks uh, these big silver earrings uh, clip on pretty nice design very beefy I got these 14 karat gold cross pens uh, five dollars a piece um, a gold filled tie clasp um, I got this really big silver necklace I'm not sure how well you can see but I'm pretty sure this is a brutalist style necklace um, just judging by the way these shapes are and it's marked on the back right there it's marked Israel and 925 it's marked 925 twice and Israel so this is probably mid-century um, it's a pretty big necklace uh, it's about maybe 35 40 grams nice red stones um, I paid twelve dollars I think it's worth uh, quite a bit more I'm not sure how much but uh, I think uh, I should have no problem selling that one and the last thing today if everything else wasn't good enough I got this bracelet and this bracelet is very very unassuming um, the detail on this is kind of grainy 
So it looks almost plated, and it's like white and yellow gold, and it's kind of just just looks a little off. Um, and it's got a gold filled clasp. So everybody else might miss this, but it's got a tag right there, and very very small right there it says 750. And then down below, it's like AR and a star. It's like an Italian uh, assay mark. But this whole bracelet is 18 karat gold except for the clasp. And I tested it. Um, it held my test just fine. I took it to a jeweler. Um, he tested it, and it is definitely 18 karat gold. I have, I have no doubt about it. Um, this weighs 12.2 grams. Um, that gives it a melt value of something like $350. Um, I didn't pay much for this and this just this one piece will basically pay for everything else um, that I bought so always nice to find a piece of gold so unassuming just found it by chance um, and you know it's just just pure luck and hitting a lot of sales and I was just sitting on a table really so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up comment and subscribe thanks for watching